That that was a nice little fucking head bob. Welcome guys to another episode of Why Not Play. I'm Lewis. I'm Mike, and uh, Pedro is still not with us, but with how the circumstances were that you've learned from our, our, our previous recording, shit. He might actually just show up. Yeah, he might show up in the middle of the shit, so... Let's see! But before he shows up, we are going to jump right in to episode prompto because we can finally do this shit. And I know, guys, you're probably thinking, oh, why couldn't they do Iggy first? Because, you know, his shit happens earlier. Or at the very least, finish the main story because we were right there, but... Look... We weren't going to finish the main story anyway because I got to go back and get those other fucking uh, royal arms. And don't worry, there's only a few left. So we're going to get them. We're going to we're gonna get all 13. Shit, last time I checked, I think there was only like four left. Exactly. So yeah. four, four left out of 13 total. Yeah. So we're going to get all of them so that we can get into the final boss fight and we are just going gun blazing. But... Aside from that, we will at least get to see the cool, uh, interesting dungeons on the way of getting uh, these fucking royal arms. Exactly. So. Now we wait. So yeah. So in the meantime, we're going to do some episode prompt and figure out what the fuck did prompt do while we were doing next. all this and to end up, you know, fucking locked away. It had a full high Richard. <laughs> Oh, God. <sighs> Shit. Sorry, guys. It is late. Lewis is tired. I am fucking dead. But I am pushing in this extra energy just for you guys. Yeah. Because I just love all of you. Because if I didn't, after we finished uh, that last episode where we beat the fuck out of Afreed, I would have just said, fuck this shit. I am done. And, uh, Prob looks like he's fucking done with everything right now. <laughs> so, uh, this is several days later after he got knocked the fuck off the train. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, we gotta deal with a fucking walking simulator at the moment. Of course you do. Whew, fucking hell! There we go. Come on, man. Come on, you gotta fight with me. You can't go. To, you can't go to sleep in this weather. You fall asleep. You're never gonna wake up. Oh, Mike, it's so comfy. <laughs> I'm actually terrified of like those thoughts, like being in a fucking blizzard, and then it's like you are so cold that your body actually registers it as warmth, and you're just like, it's so cozy, and I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. And then you will never fucking wake up. You are gonna die right there. <laughs> Right. Well, you, unless you got someone there to help you. Honestly, you know, it's a way that I would help uh, someone stay up. How? Literally, if we're walking through a blizzard and they start feeling like they're going to fall asleep, I would punch them. You would punch them? I would punch them. Because the anger would fuel them to get the fuck up. <laughs> I guess you have to see what kind of person they are. Maybe the anger wouldn't be enough. I don't know. If I punched you in the face, Mike, while you were getting ready to knock out, would you get mad? Well, in normal circumstances, yeah, but in a blizzard, I don't know how I'd react. I don't know if that'd be enough. I'll punch you again. <laughs> I'll punch you until you wake up. Right. But what if, what if I don't wake up? Then I'll just kill you. I'll literally take your body with me through the blizzard. Because I'm not leaving you there to die in a blizzard. <laughs> You'll die somewhere warm. That's how a friend should be. Right. Yeah. True friendship. But, but prompt. You're not. You can't die here. That would cause a fucking time, time paradox. paradox if you died. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's not good. Nope. That's not good. Nope. I'll get the fuck away from me. But, you know, if you... But if you're offering to give us a ride to somewhere warm... I'll with take some it. hot chocolate, I'll fucking take it. 
Especially if it has hot chocolate. Oh, God, yeah. Espe- look, fucking earlier today, I actually got in a mood to fucking have some hot chocolate just because there was a fucking advertisement to a fucking gingerbread hot chocolate over in uh, IHOP. So that's his fatty young self? Yes, that's his fatty young self. <laughs> because Prompto was a fat kid. Mm-hmm. And then grew up to be a twink. Man, he can't just be normal size. For, and he did it for Noct. Yes. He did it for Noct. But the reason why he did it for Noct was because he was asked to do it by Lady Luna Freya. Because she wrote a... Because uh, this is a spoiler. Thanks for the anime episode from Final Fantasy uh, 15. Uh, hold that thought, guys. Baby, don't be like that. That's fucked. Yeah. Yeah. But it happened. Hmm. But uh, so when uh, Prompt was a was still a fat kid, um, remember the the white dog? Mm-hmm. They would belong to Luna. Yeah. Uh, Prompt found her in uh, in Insomnia. Uh, eventually, uh, she was returned. Then Luna. Fr- then Luna wrote Prompt a letter thanking him and was saying like, "Oh." I hope you can continue to be uh, good friends with uh, with Noctis. And then he tried to he tried to go up to Noctis one day, but then he got self conscious because he was fat. So he literally to lose weight fucking jogged. <clears throat> and uh, some lore, motherfuckers. A new hope. Construction finished today on the first Magitech production facility. Rising military star and leading authority on Magitech, uh, Rastrail, uh, Besitha? Besitha? Uh, whatever, has been selected to oversee the plant's operations. Reports say that this motherfucker will relinquish his field duties in order to serve at the compound full time. And I'm not reading that data publication. Sorry, guys. We got fucking audio logs, too. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You don't say. Because that doesn't sound bad at all. It sounds amazing. Right? Ugh. I mean, I, I'm totally not seeing why all this shit happened to Niffle High. <laughs> I know that sounds a little fucked, but... Hot damn, man. You said it, not me. (laughs) It's just just like... Come on. This this country literally had a fucking death flag. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Let's push the big red button. You're pushing the big red button? I said push the red button. Welcome back, buddy. You mean this? Fuck you. Give me my gun back. Fucking what? Bessithia, there we go. Thank, Thank you, you, Arden. You charming cunt of a man. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We fucking hate him, but he is so fucking charming and charismatic. You got me there. <laughs> like, literally, like, I can't hate him as a character. I actually really like him. Because <laughs> he makes me feel. You know what's actually pretty funny, though? What's up? Thinking about it? It's like this. Um... With Arden, I hey, want look. to. <laughs> Our fucking rest stop is a heavenly vending machine. All right. No. Oh, we'll... Wait. Oh shit. Snap. Nice. Like I was saying, uh, you know what I want to imagine with Arden? What? I totally want to imagine that all those hundreds and hundreds of years that he's been around, that when he was first around. He was, like, just a complete fucking dickhead, like, unlikable personality. But he grew over the over the centuries, and it was like, you know what? If I'm gonna fucking live, I might as well become a charismatic asshole and just have fun with it. Fuck it. I'm immortal. Pop, pop, pop! Jesus Christ, man. I got a melee weapon too. Nice. The fuck was that? Oh, a little it's blade. Nice. Oh, okay. You will rarely use it though. Why would you? You have a gun. <laughs> right. <laughs> <coughs> but then again, it's like, oh, um, give knock the gun. Why do you need? Why do you need a gun? You have Ragnarok. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was. They make soldiers here, buddy. Yeah. And not in the, oh, they recruit. They make. They they le legitimately make these fuckers. <sighs> we're, we're, we're a little late to the to the big reveal. Now Again. the real question is, why'd they make a fatty? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I, rec I, I, uh, I salvaged that. <laughs> I was about to fuck that up. It looks like it. Hey, cool. Machine gun. Yeah. If you stealth kill an enemy, you steal their weapon right off the bat. Nice. Is it limited ammo when you steal it? Uh, every other weapon that isn't your uh, starting gun is yes, limited. it's limited. Okay. You gonna pick that up or? No, I am, but I wanted to see if I could fucking aim with a revolver. The Lucian threat. I'm pretty sure that we did nothing. You 
tell me. Alright, I think there's a bunch of people who've done that. Right. To be fair, like, he's not the first. It's fucked, but he ain't the first. Right. And he probably won't be the last. Another fucked up thing for me to say. You tell me, kid, who was experimented on. What? Nothing. <laughs> I love that stealth kill. No goddamn sense. Considering that asshole's right there. Dude. I wonder if you could have stealth killed his ass. Ah. I killed him too quick. What the hell are you trying to do? Um, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. I'll... <laughs> I'll get it to do it again. Alright. I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep, Mike. What the there fuck? There we go. The fuck was that? All right. So when you damage them enough and they go all purple, mm -hmm. you can press triangle and then prompt can literally go into like this fucking uh, bullet mode. Where he unleashes a super powerful shot like three times, and then each time you you press triangle at the moment, uh, the next shot becomes stronger. So it's literally a triple chain of just fuck you, fuck you, extra fuck you. Come on, man. You gotta like those 20 shots. I know. For some reason. Oh, shit. Oh, good. More targets. There you go. You did it. Yeah, but I actually... That, that was a little fun. So, let's just keep going. Let's explore a little bit, because, uh, yeah, we're in a fucking... Niflheim base. Who knows what the fuck we'll find. Maybe we'll find more documents. And learn some more lore shit. We'll probably find some Niflheim dudes like uh, Mecha Porn uh, Mag. Or he has a fucking MT. Hey, look. <laughs> I, found the, <laughs> I found the bazooka. Yeah, you did. Where, he's, where the motherfucker literally has like MT soldiers like posed in different loot poses. <laughs> it's like... You can see the You can see the gear joints. But they're still organic, so it would make sense to see gear joints. Unless you're talking about their suits of armor. Yeah. Literally what I'm talking about. Since you know you can't see the inside of their suits. You know, unless you want to fucking kill their <laughs> kill their asses. Let's Two shots see. with the rifle, Mike. Can you do it? Did you get to him one? Yep. <laughs> and you asked me if I could fucking land a shot. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. I'm not really getting the fuck out of here. I'm too comfy. I know. Dude, they're not even alive. What the fuck? No, no, no. They're 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 alive. For now. For right now. <laughs> huh, I think Pedro got here. It's very possible. I'm hearing a lot of rummaging. <coughs> Nay, probable. Yeah. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Uh, yeah. No rocket launcher while they're there. I move. There you go. You only get to keep one weapon. 
Ah. Uh, that sucks. Pop, pop, pop! You know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oof. Yeah, oof. Hey, I, rec I recovered it, though. I recovered it. I recovered yeah, the health. I didn't say shit. I said oof. Okay. Now, uh... Pop. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was different. Th this is what I was talking about. Fucking Christ, man. <laughs> it's so stupid. I fucking love it. I see that. Yes, blow it up while you're next to it, Mike. Right? You're the king of great um, ideas. Oh, you were the last guy. Yeah, dude. Dead. Oh, fucking gone, mate. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll uh, do that, totally. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're totally not gonna explore this, uh, little bottom area and find out that there's fucking nothing in here. Yeah, we're not. Uh, we will grab, we will grab, uh, the fucking bazooka, though. Yeah, we should. Because mm -hmm. it would be stupid to waste our time. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, <laughs> can we find more fucking documents? Nay, it would be foolish. We got an elixir, though. <laughs> yeah, we did. And, 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 and? A high potion. That works. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. It's fucking beautiful. Ow, fuck. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm good. Ah, shit, boys, we're back outside. Ah, fuck, it's cold. It's so cold. So cold. <laughs> Look at that fucking scenery, though. Yeah. Love that backdrop. As wide as the fucking... As far as the eyes can see. Mm-hmm. Blame the death of the... Ice Arcan. Because <laughs> if not, she, it wouldn't be this cold. I, I refuse to believe it would be this cold. You refuse? Yes, I straight up refuse. Uh, let's get in our log. Day 70. Ooh. According to this log, they've been your brothers and sisters, probably just brothers, because I don't think I don't think the this guy here would want to make a uh, female soldiers or female MTs. <clears throat> Prototype numbering instructions, in order to. Better monitor the large number of new Magitech models entering production. The Imperial Defense Council motions to reform the coding system as follows. Troopers, five-digit model numbers uh, plus eight-digit production code. Infants, four-digit production year plus eight-digit production code. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Technically. It's not that good.
of those infants? Does that mean I? No, it couldn't be. No, no, it, it kind of sounds like that's the case. Yeah, right? But I don't want to, I, I would say less that it was a kidnapping and more like... A rescue. A rescue? Nice, nice uh, menu. Right? Yeah, this gray and orange fits him. Alright, let's take a, re a rest here real quick. That's, uh... That's really fucking morbid. That's just sad. And, uh, ignore that save file, because that belongs to, uh, me. Yeah. Me and me alone. <laughs> oh, shit. Pop. Gone. And at least the game fucking, uh... At least the game explains now why they just literally poof. Yeah. Oh, you popped a hole in their armor? Oh, light came in. I still want to know why the fuck it wasn't working when we did the switching in the... In the Ravis boss fight. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> Fucking wow. Ooh. Baby. Mm. A triple. And, uh, let's get the SMG. Might as well. Oh, hey, one of them still lived. Mm hmm. Oh, also, Mike, you know what's funny as hell? What's up? Fucking, um... I don't know if you remember, uh... You know what, uh, Pop Team Epic is? I think? Uh, you know those fucking little weird comics? Where you see, like, this, uh... Cat face, uh, girl? Like, these two cat face girls? No? I don't think so. Uh... It's like, I bet you if I show you what they look like, you'll be like, oh, yeah. Ooh! Motherfucker. No triple? There it is. One. Not enough time. Yeah. Oof. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Fuck you, I don't need a sword. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Can't snipe me. Can't snipe me. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, this shit's too much fun. Here, this. Oh! Yeah. Okay, uh, Bill, just put that up yeah, real quick. Yeah, put that up. So that they can see. Yeah, because I it's see actually those. Fall, it actually flows in that Mike actually understands now. So what were you saying about that? Oh, it's getting an anime. Huh. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Right? I don't know either. Fucking comics are funny, but it's like, huh. How would an anime work? Right? Um, okay, so I'll go this way. I mean, I guess it'll be funny to hear people voice some of the lines. Sweet. Like, when uh, one of them goes to a fucking hamburger joint and orders a hamburger. I want a hamburger. No, 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 no. Hamburger. I want a ah. hamburger. No, no. Literally. Literally, it was like... I want hamburger, please. No, 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 no. Hamburger. Oh, <laughs> you are motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I was thinking of a fucking line from a movie, but yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I know the. I know the one you were thinking of. Hamburger. Hamburger. Yeah. I fucking. Like a. Fucking uh, Pink Panther. So it was the Pink Clouseau. Panther. Yeah, Inspector Clouseau.
Yeah. No oh, prompt. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fuck you, 15. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> the loading screens? Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, we'll continue prompts descent into sadness on the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, this is Mike from Why Not Play. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like or dislike, write a comment down below, to tell us what you thought. And if you really like the video, you can hit that subscribe button. We put out two videos every single day. We got social media and our Twitch links in the description below. So until next time, stay beautiful.